Salutations! Well, my name is Kratos L, and welcome back to another episode from Tales of Criteria. Um, when you are seeing this, I'm actually on vacation, so that may or may not explain a couple of things. In case I've not been responsive or whatever, I've been, I am away. So, yeah, there's that. Let's dump this, of course. So, this has been built. Actually, in the last episode, you could see glimpses of it. But, we have another island. It's flat on the top because it's going to house one very big tower. And that's pretty much all. I've changed the way I've constructed it a tiny bit. I did start out over roster, like that one. But, and I, I did use the spine down and then four directions. However, after I did that, the exterior, I removed the dirt, except the outer layer, and I filled it all in and then added the dirt again. Because the problem I ran into when filling up that one with smooth stone, I did that with water and lava, is that the last two layers, there was dirt above my head, so I couldn't fill that in. Now, what I'm going to build over here is a mob tower. It's a just just one huge structure that allows spawning of mobs in it that will fall to the death and allow me to grab their loot. The design itself, I'm not really going to say a lot about because it, technically it's just not my design. The, I'm using the exact design as thought of by Etho. I will link that in the description. I hope. So, there's that. Uh, I will start building it a little bit and explain, for those who are unfamiliar with the concept, I'll explain it just a tiny bit. So, let me get started. Alright, we are inside the thing. Uh, as I already mentioned, I'm not going to explain in a lot of detail how it works. Just is that these are the places they can spawn on. Because it's only too high, they can spawn no enderman. And because of these things, there can also be no spiders here. And as soon as one spawns, so knock out this light, it becomes a possibility. Like this. Then, they spawn, they walk away, and they fall down. Of course, that water has to go. And do it like that. And there's our tower, of course. When you're talking about um, using your resources sparingly, this is a very, very bad example of how to do that. But uh, if you've been watching me for a while, then you... Oh, it's working. Then you might know by now that I'm all about the looks of things, so... As they drop down, it's 26 just to be sure. Ooh. They will drop the loot into the hopper and goes in here. The advantage of having it built over here in the sky is mobs spawn in a circle around you. Actually, they spawn in a larger area, but if they're outside of the circle, they despawn immediately. Because it's so high up, the lower half of the circle is either sky or water. So, even with just one of these units, the idea is you stack multiple on top of each other. Even one of those units, it's working rather well. As you add more and more, it works better and better. Uh, I also want to create a winding stair, so I have just a huge tower I can use to look over Catonia. Oh, a creeper. As well as being able to build on easily. Of course, as you can see, it's far from finished. But, that's enough about the tower. If you really want to know how it works, follow the link to some guy named Etho. You may know him. So, on to our next project. And it started raining rather fiercely, but I did want to show this. The, the vines have grown into a nice curtain. It seems 
like it's not spreading and I like the effect it gives the slowing effect not really but the rest you can see the tower from quite a distance as you can see I have started building a winding stairs around it so I can get to the top easily well relatively at least <laughs> it's a pretty dangerous light up uh, I'll change that someday I wish for this rain to stop I don't really want to turn off my particles but this is really 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 annoying so there we go uh. anyway quite some time ago I did mention making little parks now the designs I have been fiddling around with prove to be big, too big. So I'm just going to try something here. It looks like it's turning night. In that case we can go sleep and remove this rain. Anyway, uh, so I'm just going to f going for a, a small design and. Yes, as I also mentioned back then, um, the, the style I, I have eventually chosen for the city is very leafy, very, very organic. So, parks are weird, I suppose you could say. Because there's lo lots and lots of green. So the parks themselves are not, not actually like bushes or trees or whatever. There, there are plenty of those around already in our buildings. So we're going for something different. It's going to be stone for now until I've either decide to keep that or find something better. And it's going to be simple, just a couple of benches and a little fountain. I do not like this shovel. It's not fast enough. Efficiency three. It's really annoying if you start, yeah, that if you dig and suddenly you find a patch of dirt because it takes a long time to dig out the grass, but dirt it just plows through, so that's bloody annoying, really. All right, always do the grass. So let's do this. Uh, I do not want the benches touching each other. So one, uh, two, three. Where are you? We're in the sky. Well done. Over there. Like so. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it would seem it is. Jolly good. Let's just be sure. Yeah, it is. You out of here, and that will make for a very small fountain indeed. Because if I would do this and then continue on, it will be one. Uh, that's not really going to happen. You can go round off a bit. Come back to me. If I would take those with it it will be a two by two which again is it's very very big um hmm a lot of space over there actually there is and i want to build something over there and i could build something over here so let the road come like that this plaza and this will be uh, this will be appropriate in positioning, but I want it to be bigger. Or it's going to be just a little water hole. That's that's just sad. And two by two isn't isn't really a fountain. Well, I guess a, a little pond could do as well. It will have to do more precisely. Going to do it like go away. Like this. Yeah. Get those out of there. 
like so. I'm going to fill that with water. It's another infinite spring, which is always useful to have around your base. Let's deposit that one. Now, as I said, it was going to be a um, park with benches. And there are a lot of different ways to create benches. And you might also be wondering by now why I decided to use half slabs to cover everything. Well, it makes the benches easier. So I'm going to do this and this. These won't be the benches, these are the legs of the mentioned benches. So I'm going to do this, this and that. And we have a bench. There and there. So just a little bench area. I, I kind of like it. Though this is not the way I want it. That's better. And here. Oh, yeah. I guess we could or should actually add some lighting. No, that's not a lot. And do we store seeds here? No, we do not. So I'll just keep those in inventory for now. Uh, do we have glowing pumpkins around? We do not. Then we will use glowstone instead. It's not really a um, mineral conserving day now, is it? I can add some lighting here. So that looks nice. I would like some over there. Then I would have to extend this. Because otherwise it would look weird. Or right over there. That would look, look probably weird as well. Well it's worth a shot. Let's try it without. Uh Yeah, it's okay. Shears. Let's grab some shears. Here we go. Let's combine these while we're at it. Yeah. Grab more of those. And jump. Grab those. Those. And of course, mirror it. This is going to be rather symmetrical. It can't be much more symmetrical. Well, actually it can. I had benches there and there. Well, that's not what I had in mind. So here we have a little park. It still feels a bit... No, that's not how you do it. I don't know, it feels a bit... bit mm. Oh, that's certainly not what I want. Blast. Hmm. I should have seen that coming. But alas, I did not. Uh, hmm. Oh my. All the grass is gone over here. Wow. Well, that was positively stupid. Destroyed some string. Sure, why not? Over torching, probably, but I don't want the creeper to blow up in my face. Yeah. A little, a little, a little park. Nos looks better, actually, with. next to it. Hmm. I oh, will keep it like this. Let's not let's not overdo it. It's something I'm very good at. Start something and then just overdo it by a long shot. I should really stop doing that. Or maybe not. I don't know. What did I just Sometimes, oh, sometimes, 
I get so tired of myself. Are you done yet? I don't know, but getting there. Why wasn't here again? That's why. I remembered, sort of. Oh, there was one thing in the inn we forgot last time. It was just putting in the chest. Which I have done now, as you can see. And this will store only the actual food. Why are you so dark? Oh, not what I had in mind. Hmm. Sit. Good boy. You got the food. So we have chests with bands inside. It was raining and I felt really bad for just leaving him out there. So I brought him inside. So this is really a short episode. Sorry, but as I already mentioned, I have a holiday coming up. And by the time you see this, I'll almost be done with my holiday. But yeah, that means that the previous episode was recorded like 10 minutes before I started recording this one. So there's not a lot of progress I could have made. Oh, this is going really well in such a short amount of time. That's because when you build these things, the, the, the greatest amount of time is lighting up the caves around it. Oh, that scared me. But because it's so high up, the, <laughs> the nearest caves are at the bottom of the ocean. And I will show you this road upwards, I hopefully not fall down because we'll die. Should have probably dropped my stuff, but whatever. I can show you the view. It's going to be taller. So the view will be even better some someday. Ah, here you can see. Catonia. Oh well, at least the first island. Going to, just to, going to be one or two shops over there. Same goes for over that way. But now you can really see how awesome it looks. Also, uh, I started mentioning in the previous episode the render distance. Here you can really see the difference. You can also see what renders in first because you saw the item frames before anything else. Like that one over there. Come on, load in. Good boy. Is that the whole island? Almost, I guess. As you can see, you just sharply see the end of the island. Yeah. I like this more. Why do you have to reload everything? And now to get down. Oh, bother. Anyway. That's the end of this very, very, very short episode. I hope you don't mind too much. Uh, my name is Cortessel, and we're back safely on the ground, so I'll see you next time.